Today, we will review a budget mechanical keyboard that suits the use not only for gamers but also for office workers. We have here today the Rock Elise PBT. Let's go right into it. We will have a short unboxing video, discuss its features, talk about its price, pros and cons, and real-time experience. Why should you consider getting one? It has a decent packaging, not particularly premium, but it highlights the product key features in the front and in the back, which is good. As you can see, they also provided two pieces of extra Outemo red switches and a switch puller. They included a simple manual how the Rock Elise PBT works. And here's our Rock Elise PBT. At the back of the keyboard, they put an extra keycap for window key and a key puller. Nice idea to put it on the back. Pull out the key puller like this and you should be able to get the extra key like this. Rockylist PBT is a classic look keyboard which features a 96 key layout that includes a numpad. There's an orange key on top right side which activates the arrow key function and the rest of the key function like delete and and also the page down. At the same time, it disengages the numpad. This is a really good idea to maintain a compact design. Though it may take some time to get used to these features, especially when your type of work is more on a document preparation with technical data and numbers where you usually switch from numpad to arrow keys. Rock Elise has a removable magnetic cover which you can remove like this. You can remove the cover to change the look of the keyboard or maybe you want to see more of its light key features. But in my usage, I always keep the cover due to its helpful function. As you can see, I can easily see the cups lock and numpad indicator light. Unlike when it's removed, you may have to lean forward just to see the cups lock and numpad light indicator. It has a non-removable USB cable and it looks and feels sturdy. This may be a deal breaker for some, but in my usage, it really does not concern me that much. At the back, it features three cable routing options, which is very nice to have. In my experience, the sideways cable routing often loosens, but can be compensated using a tape. Its keyboard feet have rubber stopper and for me, this should be a standard feature design for every keyboard. This prevents the keyboard to move around the place. Kudos to Rack for considering this design. On the manual, we can find the instruction how to toggle the different light modules.
You can also change the color on each light module. You can also change its speed. You can also increase or decrease the intensity of keyboard light. Rockley's PBT also has a dedicated software where we can customize the key lights to our liking. Here's a sample of my custom light I did. Hopefully, Rock would further develop their software to offer more customizing options. For the switches, you can choose between Altemo red switches or Altemo blue switches upon buying. Its hot swappable feature means you can remove its switches if one of those were broken or if you want to change it with Altemo brown switches. It is future proof for upgrade purposes. The most notable difference I know between the two is that the Otemo Red switches is more on a silent approach while the blue switches has a more clicky feel on it. For your reference, here's a sample sound of Otemo Red switches. Here's an actual sound test when using the keyboard. Now let's go down to the pros and cons. For the pros, we count its classic look, a hybrid numpad TKL keys, a removable cover that could instantly change its look, multiple light modules, sturdy build and design, a dedicated software, and the fact that the keyboard is hot swappable. For the cons, we will count the cable being not a removable Type-C, its size being a bit bigger than other Rock mechanical keyboard like Rock Lamang Pro and Rock Lamang Lite. Also, it does not come with any wireless features. Now, let's talk about the price. For 2,000 pesos, is it really worth it? Well, actually, for me, it's a yes. Definitely, this is a good find. Some may argue that it does not have any wireless feature, but for the price and the pros I mentioned, that really outweighs the cons it have. Overall, in my experience, I'm very satisfied with this mechanical keyboard. It actually feels premium when you are using it. It is fun playing with its light modules, and to be honest, as an office worker, we actually need something that could engage us more to work. A mechanical keyboard is one helpful device for that purpose. Owning a keyboard like this makes you really want to type more. I mean, just look at this. One press and I have a ripple effect. That's an instant joy or reward for us. Every click gives you a sense of joy and engagement. How about you? What's your opinion for the Rockylist PBT? Comment down below what you love about this keyboard. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification button to keep you updated with my new uploads. I'm planning to upload more review videos that you may also like. See you next time.